Good morning fellas, welcome along to the vlog. Today we're having a bit of a look at a F Fobco, Fobco drill press that was kindly donated to the cause by Froggy last week. Three phase, built in the 60s I believe, 1964, really old and uh, yeah I think it's such a nice piece of kit, it's well worth some restoration. So here's a quick clip of what it looked like yesterday before I dismantled it and then we'll have a little bit of a chat about other things such as this three phase motor that came with it. Another bit of uh, machinery worth sharing with you guys I think. Um, thanks to our good old chum Froggy uh, he managed to save this from going in a skip recently. It's a three phase pillar drill and funnily enough I was looking at buying a new one and he's donated this to the course for a priceless sum of a case of beer. What a fucking guy. Absolutely brilliant. So we'll just have to find somewhere for that to live. Probably maybe next to its little brother there. But what a piece of kit. So back to the drill. Um, I've dismantled a lot of it. A uh, couple of reasons why. And I'll just point out what it is. It's called a Fobco Star drill. A half inch cap drill. Made in 1964, and this is all Fobco do. Fergal O'Brien is the guy who owns the company, or did. It's a Fergal O'Brien company. And these drills, they were professionals at making them. For instance, this is just solid steel bar. Um, so what I did was put it on the bench, and I thought, first things first, it's a three-phase drill. Let's get the mega on it. So... Um, yeah, I've got the multifunction tester on it. Mine's a Dialog, actually, not a Mega, but, you know, the same thing. And I tested the insulation resistance on here, and it failed. It was below um, 0 0.2 mega ohm, so below 200 ohms, I think that is. So it was a fail, straight off the bat. And I took it apart, and fortunately found what I think to be the culprit so there was um, one of these because I think it's wired to a star configuration because like you, you, everything all the wires come to the center here and it's just marked neutral but it's a star configuration this particular lead here was completely corroded and when it's in position you can see it was quite close to the edge of the frame I wonder if there's any arcing that happened there at all I can't see any anyway um, I'll just put some heat shrink sleeving on it it was the insulation that had corroded on it let's just hook this up we'll go onto that bar again let's connect it up we'll turn the mega on we'll go all the way up to a thousand volts test and as you can see we are now off scale over 200 mega ohm and that's the same as well on all of the coils. These coils are all connected together anyway, but as you can see, to ground, to earth, it is off scale high. So I think I fixed that. So I'm gonna assemble this before I do anything else. But I've had a look at um, this particular model of drill and they seem to be quite popular on the welding forums, which uh, doesn't surprise me considering that Froggy brought me it. And of course that's the industry that he's in. So um, I'm going to give it a little bit of TLC and I think what I'm going to do is reassemble it and try and do it some justice and make it an actual nice representation of what these old machines used to be. Now a lot of people have said get a VFD, variable frequency drive on there as well on the forums. I'm not too sure. Fob Fobco Star. Um, I've never installed a VFD before but... Um, I think they're relatively simple to do. Maybe this is something I can start playing about with on it. But first things first, I want to get the motor back together, give that a little bit of a test. And if this works, then we are on to a winner and we can start to reassemble and do everything else with this this machine. And so so now you can see all the uh, all the parts have been dismantled and 
you get a rough idea of a date. Now, which part did I see? There was um, a date on one of these parts here. This is it, look. Uh, 11th of the 10th, 1968, I think it says there. I can't quite tell you, but 31st of the 10th, maybe. So, yeah, quite an old piece of kit. And in pretty good condition, apart from a few bites at the bed, the drill press bed. That's not a big issue. Um, we've got most of the name plates on everything as well. It's a British made. It's got the Fobco star on the front. Look at this for a drive belt. It's got to be original. Got to be. I managed to get the pulleys off without damaging anything. And um, yeah, let's just have a look at the the name plate here as well, because I think that is quite a selling point. Lovely, lovely bit of kit. Anyway. Took the whole thing apart yesterday and the motor, can we get the name of the motor? I can't quite tell, you might be able to figure that out, Brampton and something Robertson, AC motor, three phase, got the old um, multifunction tester onto it and it failed its insulation resistance test at 0.2 mega ohms, um, was the best I could get out of it. Uh, so I took this whole thing to pieces and one of the windings um, which there is a star configuration so they're all wound all, all one end of each winding is joined together on the neutral peg and you can see just through that hole there that yellow heat shrink well one of the windings had the insulation had completely disintegrated on it so that is what I believe was giving us our low reading. So I put it, put some heat shrink onto it, put it all back together, and I've since wired it up to a temporary fly lead. And this we're going to put into our RCD protected three phase socket here. If I can do this one handed, I'll be very pleased. And I've already had this on, so I know it works. But if I just turn this on here, you'll see the motor jumps to life and she's running smoothly. You know, I've tested her out. Insulation is fine. There's no leaking currents coming out of it. I'm really pleased. It sounds smooth, as smooth as you can hope for it. Being such an old crusty old motor uh, with all sorts of gank and manky stuff in, in the bearings but I think that's good enough for me I'll just turn the power back off and I'll tell you what my plans are so because this is an old British made tool and there seems to be quite a large following on the internet with people who've bought tools from this manufacturer they only make drill press drill presses I believe and double up a small milling machines but um, yeah I think this deserves some restoration so I'm gonna go over to tool station and pick up some paint stripper we're gonna dismantle this again we're gonna take all the paint off every single part that we can some of this has been repainted as you can see it's got silver on top but originally it would have been this yellowy cream color and you can still buy the enamel paint to do it so I think that's what we're going to go and do these are aluminium, this is cast iron this is a cast iron base plate these are the pulleys and then this is a big old cast iron main body of the drill which needs rewiring as well so the wires are on the other side well the connectors are on the other side as you can see there the wires I believe are behind this nameplate but we're going to go for a little bit of a restoration on this bad boy, I think. So why not document it on a video and let you guys follow along. Hopefully we'll be able to see some results in a week or so.